was reading what is probably going to be anime of the year, aka Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man. Man. While in college, Tatsuki Fujimoto became a victim of bullying. When he found a girl laughing in his face as she threw his bike to the ground, he had reached his limit. He hadn't felt this feeling since he'd gone to college with barely any art training. Ecstasy. And it's not like he needed much training either. His dad being an avid manga reader gave Fujimoto so many ideas that he had serialized five of his own mangas in a manga magazine Fujimoto had created in his own mind. In an attempt to catch up with this mind magazine, Fujimoto would often post his amateur manga to an indie manga website called Shintosha, where he would meet some other young aspiring mangaka. And for a while, this was all Fujimoto was doing, trying to get everything out of his head and onto the paper, until he wrote the story that would change his life. Niwa 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 Torigaita was Fujimoto's first manga competition entry, and while it didn't actually end up winning first place in the competition, it should have. It did catch the attention of one of the founders of Jump SQ, Rin Shihei, who had some choice thoughts about Fujimoto. <laughs> After Rin decided to become Fujimoto's manga editor, Fujimoto wrote six one-shots in just two years, half of them winning awards and the final one being Fujimoto's official debut, which netted him enough prize money to buy himself a liquid display tablet. But even with all his success pre-college and now in college, Fujimoto was still left jobless after graduating college. Stuck in a crappy expensive apartment, the new graduate was now forced to make a difficult decision. A job? or a dream. As Fujimoto made his final decision, Rin was facing crises of his own, on track to climbing the ladder to be a part of Shueisha's administration team, a job he absolutely did not want. With Shueisha having botched an attempt to stop itself hemorrhaging readership for now the 20th year in a row, Fujimoto was left 250 miles away, clueless and standing on a wobbly house of cards. After a year of repeated failures, Fujimoto made another attempt at serialization at Shueisha and received a familiar answer. But while Fujimoto jumped back into the thick of grinding, Rin decided to take a double take. The idea wasn't actually that bad, Fire Punch was actually kind of cool, it just seemed like it got rejected because of the physical space limitations inside the magazine. It's a true shame, Rin thought. Blindsided and having no idea what was going on, Fujimoto obeyed Rin's orders nonetheless, not knowing that Rin had just moved to Shueisha's digital magazine department and was trying to get Fire Punch serialized in the digital mag, a proposal that was wrecking havoc in Shueisha. I just thought it was a good story. But after heated discussions and after the dust had settled, Rin appeared victorious. Winner! Rin Shihei. and began onboarding some of Fujimoto's future assistants. But when the news finally reached Fujimoto, he had mixed feelings. On the one hand, he now had his biggest inspiration as his main manga assistant, but on the other hand, he was only allowed two volumes, which wasn't enough time to get to the first major plot point he wanted to show the readers. Actually, that works too. The day before Fire Punch was released, Fujimoto tweeted about his excitement, right before the series exploded. It got so popular that his old Shintosha friends actually came back and made obis for him. These things as it single-handedly lifted Shueisha's Bosch Digital Mag out of its death spiral. And now with money, fame, and success, Fujimoto was ready to live the high life until Rin sent him a message. Not even knowing what to think anymore, Fujimoto rushed to Rin to get answers, quickly finding out that Rin, no, he wasn't suing him, Nani. but rather defending him against someone impersonating his younger sister. Hearing this, Fujimoto grew even more confused. Was this really what happened when manga artists became famous? I mean, he wasn't even that famous, and he hadn't even heard of anything like that happening before. Growing more and more lost by the second, Fujimoto needed proof, and asked to see this account. Uh, Rin? Yep. That's... That's me. Wait, what? What, what for? Wait, what, what do you mean? Rin was not amused. Over the rest of its runtime, Fire Punch ran with few hiccups. In fact, Fujimoto's success seemed to be infecting his insistence as well, with one successfully serializing his own series into Shueisha, and another in the process of writing something that should be suspiciously familiar. When Fire Punch came to an end, Fujimoto was left in an unprecedented situation. 
to make a series bigger and better than Fire Punch. After all, he had a reputation to upkeep. But while Fire Punch was running, the industry around Fujimoto had changed dramatically, with competition reaching unparalleled heights as banger after banger kept coming out. In fact, Fujimoto himself didn't even want to particularly do manga anymore, instead having his sights on becoming an animator. Internal doubts raging, Fujimoto began to work on another series. With no care for public perception and curt disregard for his own art skills, he really didn't think anyone would like his next series at all. Maybe Fire Punch just got lucky. It wasn't easy, but Fujimoto would find partial assurance a few months later, when Emoto no Ane was successfully published in SQ, at which point his brain began to turn with ideas. Influenced heavily by The Chaser and other Korean films, he began to piece together a crazy story with gags reminiscent of his favorite animes. As news of Fujimoto's new work spread, pressure mounted. Would it be a success? Or would it be a failure? Chances were slim that it would blow up like Fire Punch, especially considering Fujimoto was predicting failure himself. What well, turns out, he was wrong. The success of Chainsaw Man is difficult to even fathom. Winning the most prestigious manga awards in the world within just two years of release, and then having MAPPA announce its anime adaptation in that exact same year. But success had never stopped Fujimoto from working before, and it certainly was not going to now, because as Chainsaw Man's hype is probably built, going to be anime of the year, aka Chainsaw. Fujimoto kept pumping out his one shots, while his assistants started receiving some pretty big news of their own, and Rin debuted Shueisha's new manga making app, World Maker help you write your own manga. Because now it's your turn to end the story, dear viewer, as the manga industry star prodigy reaches the summit of his career. If you'd like to be a part of more manga stories, here's another one you'd enjoy. It's good to be back.